Hello! Today I'll show you how to use a grid to find the area of any shape, but in this case we start with the rectangle. The first thing that we need to do before anything else is to identify the shape. In this case it's a rectangle, as I said before. And now that we know the, the shape, we need to use a correct formula for that shape. Remember that the area for a rectangle is equal to base times the height. And now, who is the base and who is the height in this case? Remember that the base is the line in the bottom, or the distance between one side to another one, or even you can define base as the line uh, that is extends up this shape. Now, the height is the distance from the bottom to the highest point in this shape. You can have a point in this shape here, but it's not the highest. You can have a point in this, but it's not the highest. All these points in this line are the highest point of this shape. Remember that the height is a vertical line. Now, how many units are any parameter? You need to read this because this is a tip that the exercise is given to you. Take in consideration this grid has squares with size of one millimeter. What means that? Okay, that means that this square has size of one millimeter. And all this line is one millimeter, are equal to one millimeter, one millimeter, one millimeter, one millimeter, all these lines, each one. Now, how many of that lines, uh, uh -huh. how many of those lines are forming this base? One, plus one, two millimeters, plus one, three millimeters, plus one, four millimeters. Four lines are forming this base. That means that in this case, base is equal to 4 millimeters. And what about the height? The height is forming is formed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 millimeters in this case. Now we know the value of each parameter. That now we only need to replace the values. Area is equal to base, that in this case is 4, times height, that is that in this case is 6. And now the next step is solve this multiplication. 4 times 6 is 24. And the last step is write the correct unit. In this exercise, we are working with millimeters. But remember that we are talking about area. That means that we are working with two dimensions, base and height. Um, that means that you need you are multiplying that, that parameters and you are you need to put the exponent two at the end of the unit to get a squared unit. Now the area of this rectangle is twenty four square millimeters. And that's it. Now you need to solve these exercises. Please write your answer in Pearson in this class. Thank you.